Now, now when you look in the mirror and you see an image, or you is that image separate from you? But I can be an image of my family. So I may, I may not look like all the rest of the birds, but they'll know me. They'll know the birds by the But when you look in the mirror, is that separate? It's from you? Or is that you? You looking right back at you. Yeah. That's, your, that's your image, correct? It is a reflection. Jesus Christ is the very image of, of himself. Of, of him, father, of, which is of himself. No. No. Did he not inherit that? No. The head of Christ is who? His father, Jehovah. Right. That's his higher self. No. That is his father. That's his higher self, correct? His higher self? Higher self. You mean a higher form of Jesus? No, we have to metamorphosize. Yeah. Just like Jacob is so a now worm. You've moved, now you've moved, your dialogue has moved into metaphysic science fiction. So no. no, it's scripture. Christ did not metamorphosize son of man to son of God. Think about it. He went from son of man to son of God. Hmm. That's a metamorphosis. Mm -hmm. That's resurrection. That's why I'm telling you that's what you're missing. Nope, not missing. Because you don't have the true doctrine. Yes, I do. And you don't believe in hell either. No, so that proves you don't have a true doctrine. I have a relationship with God. And I know he doesn't want to keep anyone. He would never let people suffer for just a few why moments did he, in their life. That, that's why he died, right? To inter, to intercept that, was his to son intercept that pathway that's what his son died of wrath. His son that's, died it's so called wrath. Happen. It's called wrath. Satan didn't challenge God's existence. He challenged God's standards. So Jesus lived Satan God's standards. Satan is a tool. Satan is a tool, a created being. He was created to do what he does. He's called the tempter in the mm. scriptures. Right? Misleader, yes. Right. But the, but the Lord is choosing the overcomers who overcome mm -hmm. the evil through his salvation, which is Jesus Christ, the Savior of Israel, according to Acts 13, 23. He's the Savior of the Israelites. Jesus said himself, uh, Matthew 15, 24, I am not sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So, hey, Steve, you ready for me to take over? Well, take over. Yeah. Can you handle it? <laughs> All, right. All right. How are you? You look like a. Do you call yourself Jewish? Hmm? You Jewish? No, I'm not Jewish. You hear that all the time? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes you hear that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just. We were just breaking bread on Jesus Christ. I'm curious. Uh, do you believe the same way he? They believe. You yeah, I'm a Jehovah's Witness. You, um, so you don't believe Jesus Christ alone should be exalted? In the, New, in the New Testament, Philippians 2, verse 9 through 11 said, At the name of Jesus, God highly exalted him. Right? At the name of Jesus, every knee must bow, every tongue must confess Jesus Christ is the Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Do you agree with that? Uh, I want to worship the God that Jesus worshiped. Okay. Right. That's who, that's who I choose to worship. Right. But that's the name Jesus Christ has to be exalted. And then you, uh, you, you can do that. If you exalt Jesus Christ above every name that's in heaven and earth and under the earth, that includes the name Jehovah. Like I was telling him, Psalms 138 verse 2 said, Jehovah exalted all his word above, above all his name. He exalted his word above all his name. Jesus Christ is the word of God made flesh. Revelation 19, 13. He's the word of God made flesh. So Jehovah exalted his word, Jesus Christ above all his name yeah, he made he made jesus king of his kingdom I agree. and there's no other god because jesus has all power in heaven and earth and on the earth you agree with that well i believe that jehovah's above jesus he's the where'd he's you the give father. me scripture for that where's your scripture for that in the new Testament? in the new Testament, i know you probably can pull something out of old but the old he's not revealed he's not that's why the book is called revelations the revealing of jesus christ for example uh, Revelations 1 verse 8 Jesus Christ says he's the almighty he's the alpha the omega the beginning and the end the almighty so Revelations the book itself is the revealing of Jesus Christ as the almighty God he is the almighty God there's no God before him after him beside him according to scripture like Jesus as the word was was created and the word is God. We agree to Jesus, Jesus is called the firstborn of all creation. The word is God, correct? The word, he was a God, but he's not. The Bible God. didn't say a God. It said in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. John 1. John 1. Okay. It didn't say a God. So if you look at the original. So you're using what, what Jehovah 
doctrine does is, is bring another entity. So you're saying Jesus is a separate entity. Yes. So there's the Father and the Son. Jesus is the Son. And he prayed and worshipped his Father. And I want to pray and worship to the same God that Jesus worshipped. Now here's the checkmate to that. I don't know if you, you agree, but you agree that Jesus said, uh, John 14, 6, he says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. I agree. There's no other way except through him. Right. Now, now when he life. says he's that life, according to 1 John 5, 20, the Bible says Jesus Christ is the eternal life. He said this is the true God and eternal life. And Jesus Christ came to give us this understanding of the true God, right? Right? Mm -hmm. And Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is eternal life. So let's look at John 17, 3. Because John has sure. a lot to Oh, I love that. that. I and don't forget verse 5, John 17, verse 5. He could glorify me with the glory I had with thee before the world was. So, so that's your three. You got to connect three with five. This means Is that King James? I can do King James. I don't too. appreciate it. I want to see you. You got to connect three with five now. Okay. Let me get. I got a new phone. I don't know if I have that translation downloaded yet. I had it on my old phone. Uh, Hang on a second. Why you guys hate King James Red Letter so much? I don't hate King James. You don't even have it. Uh, I just got a new phone. Down it. I well, that's the first thing you're supposed to do Wait, when I you got, get a new I phone. Got, I got it. 17, 3. <laughs> and 5. Verse 5. All right. So. 5 will take you to Genesis 1, 1. And this is life eternal. Uh-huh. That they might know thee, the only true God. Uh-huh. And. Right. Jesus Christ. So there's the true God. Right. And his son. Right. Keep reading. Verse 5. Verse 5. Verse 5. And now, o There's Father, your answer. glorify thou me with thine own self, uh -huh. and with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Now, Genesis 1-1. That's your... In the that's beginning, your, God created the heavens and the earth. And don't it say Jesus Christ, in Ephesians 3-9, Jesus Christ created all things. He created the heavens and the earth. It was through him. It was created through him. He's God's master worker. But Jesus' name was hidden. It was the name, Jesus Christ, that was hidden in the Father. That's what it tells us in Ephesians 3, 9. It was the name well, that was hidden. I don't understand that. What that means is Jesus Christ, that name itself is the foundation of the earth. That's Revelation 13 and 8. The Lamb's Book of Life. He was slain before the foundation of the world. Mm -hmm. Now, 1 Corinthians 3, 11 says Jesus Christ is the foundation of the earth. No other foundation can any man lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. So, even though he used all those other names, would you say Jehovah, Elohim, all these other names people come up with, Jah, it's the name Jesus Christ that we're supposed to know him. Because that's the name he created the heavens and the earth with that name that was hidden. It didn't reveal it to us until the new covenant. So when the father came in the uh, image of the son or the son come in the image of the father, however you want to say it, it's, the, it's one and the same. The Father was hidden. It tells us in 1 Timothy 3.16 that great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. Right? Because he came so to glorify the name. That's my question. So if Jesus is so, we believe that Jesus is the Son of God. The glory just means the greatness. But Jesus Christ is the greatness of God. See what I'm saying? The greatness. So, so if we, here, here's where greatest. I think we have a, a difference, is that but Jesus. You don't love Jesus. That's oh, the difference. There's no, there's no. Hope Only people Jesus, that can, man. according to the uh, First Corinthians twelve three, mm -hmm. no man can say Jesus Christ is Lord but by the Holy Ghost. No man can love the Father but by the Holy Ghost. That's what Jesus said. No man can come unto the Father but by me. Jesus yeah. is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Jesus Ghost is, is the Holy he's the Father, he's the Holy Ghost, he's the glory, he's the mercy. You see what I'm saying? He's the love, he's the power. I think it's just where we He disagree. is the greatness of God. Because if, right? they, because if, uh, if Jesus and the, if the Son and the Father were the same. Uh, 1 John 5, 20. Can you read that? King well, James? Just, uh, hang on, just hang with okay. me for a second. All right. so, so the Son gave And I appreciate life. you talking to me. Well, I appreciate you talking to me. 1 John 5, 20. It says, which, kind of what you just read, the Son of God has come to give us the understanding. Because mm -hmm. no man can know God but by the Holy Ghost. You agree with that? Yeah, we have to have a relationship. We have to... You do what, agree with what that? Adam and Eve, what Adam and Eve lost, right? 
we get greater than what they had. Yes, they did lose sovereignty. So, but, so that but, but they didn't eat from the tree of life. The tree of life is Jesus Christ. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So what, so what they lost made a deficiency, right? So if they, had, if they had listened to God, they would have had children. They would have filled the earth and subdued it, right? They would have... It was never his plan. It was never his intention anyway. That's the wisdom of the, the Lord God. That was the wisdom of Jesus Christ. Because it tells you in Revelation 13, 8, the lamb was slain before the foundation of the world. So it was never his intention. He had a people predestined. And you remember, you familiar with that term? Mm -hmm. the, the children of Israel, the God of Israel, they have his name. So now it's the, the God of Jesus Christ, as you state, if you guys want to keep mm -hmm. saying Jehovah, the God of Jesus Christ is the church of Jesus Christ. Those that have his name. That's what the name in the forehead, Revelation 14, verse 1 through 5. Yeah. That's the same children of Israel in Revelation chapter 7, verse 3 and 4. They have the Father's name in their forehead. They're sealed with the Holy Ghost. These are the only people that can have the Father's eternal life, glory, the Holy Ghost on the children of Israel. It's written in scriptures. Ezekiel 39. So, so then what's the hope of those who are not part of that group? Servants. You, they have to serve the children of Israel because the children of Israel, you think about it, they came over here on slave ships. Deuteronomy 28, 6, 8, which is scripture, it's written. They written in the Constitution as three fifth persons, Article 1, Section 2, United States Constitution. Which the United States Constitution supreme these children of Israel, even from ancient Egypt. Mm -hmm. When he brought us out of ancient Egypt, we were we were exalted. Uh, Paul confirmed that in the book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 16 through 23. Jesus Christ has came and through his salvation. He exhausted to where uh, in his salvation in that constitution, United States, that's why they don't obey it. They swear in on it. All nations are supposed to serve the children of Israel. Esau was supposed to what? Serve the, his brother, Jacob and Esau. Esau was supposed to serve. He's in rebellion. Esau is the fugitive in the vagabond because he's not serving his brother with the sword. And you know he got the power of the sword, so he's ruling the earth right now. Job 9, 24. Earth is given to the hands of the wicked. So Esau, uh, God's wrath is on Esau for his violence towards his brother Jacob. Jacob got the birthright, which is salvation. So there's no other gospel that's even comparable to the gospel of Jesus Christ. So you guys changed what all other religions did was, was change uh, this is false doctrine. You're changing the gospel. So God's wrath, I mean, what you're doing is making your fire hotter. You know, he, his, his, he's furious at lies. That's what I was trying to tell the, the guy before you. All liars going to have a part in the lake of fire. Revelation 21.8. So, and you, you guys don't believe in hell. That is, that's, there's eternal hell. There's levels. Otherwise, you got to take out pages of the Bible because Isaiah 5, verse 11 to 16 said, hell has enlarged herself without measure. You know, there's no end to hell. But there is an eternal hell. There's hell on earth, different levels of people living in poverty, such, so on and so forth, in prison. You know, uh, our people are going through hell. We have 400 years of without wages. Esau got to pay for that. Because the children of Israel were never supposed to be anyone's bondmen. It's written in scripture. We were not supposed to be bondmen. He brought us out of ancient Egypt as for bond men and bond women. But we went into a second Egypt by slave ships, Deuteronomy 28, 68. To be bond men and bond women. The Bible said we will be sold to our enemies. So all nations are our enemies. So your question to the, the, the nations, they're God's enemies. Psalms 83, that whole chapter. It says that they're confederate. That's why they had a confederate flag in verse 6. They're confederate against the God of Israel and the chosen people. And we are the chosen people, the children of Israel, the Hebrew Israelites. Jesus is a black man. Like you see on my hood, he's a black man, woolly hair. That's scripture. And no matter how many doctrines Satan comes up with, you can't change what's written. You can't change what's inevitable. You can't change that God is coming back for vengeance. You know? You can deceive and you can get, you know, deceive all the simple 
who would believe your doctrine, but it's not going to change the fact that you will be rewarded for your works.